Hey guys, in this video we're going to be looking at how bacteria divide. They are teeny, 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 tiny little things which could take over the world if you gave them the chance. So let's not let them get that chance. I just want to thank Tuition Kit who have been supporting me, allowing me to make loads more great videos for you. You can take all of the videos on that site, all of my videos, and schedule them into a timetable that fits around you so that you can get everything done in time for your exam. Bacteria divide incredibly quickly. We can go from one bacteria to two bacteria in 20 minutes, in four bacteria we will be 40 minutes. It is so quick that you can see from this time lapse that there just isn't chance for anything else to happen. This is of course dependent on bacteria having the right type of conditions to be able to divide. Now the right type of conditions are we're talking about having lots of nutrients, so lots of things for it to eat. So either being on an agar plates or being on a surface inside or outside the body where the bacteria are happy to divide. They have lots of nutrients, they have lots of space, they have lots of oxygen. When we get to a point where there isn't enough food or there isn't enough space, the bacteria will stop dividing. But you can see from this clip how quickly bacteria can take over, which is why when you get an infection or when you get ill from um, bad food, then you're going to start to feel ill very, very quickly. Ouch. Mm, I'll be too prim. <laughs> 